All right, we just made it to Sweden for an hour. <laughs> they got a rocket up here and the planets, like, just look at how it is all. The wall is, and, oh, the wolves. Oh yeah, I see wolves too. I see some pumas, some more here, but I think those are just for you to put on your fingers and neck. And got really windy now, but you know what? I'm enjoying it. I'm just living Hi. it. Hi. It's 11.59 a.m. and it's Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. It's just a minute before noon and it is a glorious cloudless day. It is much different from yesterday. Yesterday it was a thick cloud cover. Today it is so much better. The temperatures have gone back up. So yesterday I started the day with a morning walk with my mom at the harbor of Dana Point and towards the end after walking out of the fitness center I was talking about the movies and I have made my decision so on Wednesday the 22nd I am going to go to the movie theaters and watch The Wizard of Oz for the first time probably since we brought Smokey to this house for the first time He's not hiding under any of those chairs. He's not sitting on any of the chairs under the table. I was planning to play around with it, but unfortunately I broke the stick by accident. Like, I don't know how it happened, but I cracked into it and sadly it broke. Anyway, so momentarily we are going to make it to Ikea and I do have a plan. I am going to look at the plush toys and I'm going to add another character to my plush bulls collection and on Friday I will introduce that character to you guys. I mean, last plush bulls episode there were already a bunch of new characters but you know, it was just like one in a year kind of thing, the rise of the vampires. So yeah, we'll head to Ikea, first we'll have lunch. Then we'll look at the plush toys and that's going to be the seventh main character that is going to be in those plush bulls episodes. There had been six of these when I started and by the end of today there will be seven. Well, if you include Dracula, even though he's yellow, then Frankenstein and then that blue dragon that I called Dracola and then the devil that I called Lucifer. If you include all these characters that have been in the episode two weeks ago, that's going to be a total of 11 characters in the Plush Bowl series as of Friday. All right, we just made it to Sweden for an hour. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, but welcome to Ikea. Just got to Ikea now and look at this. You see? They got a rocket up here and the planets, like, just look at how it is all crafted. See this? Like, what a display. Even got some cat astronauts up there too. And even those in that basket and, okay, these are just soccer balls. But yeah, like almost all of these are to do with this crafting, like, you can also take a view from here too. Let's see what it is. The biggest playground is never far away. Absolutely wonderful. And yes, we are going to get another plush toy. So you see amongst all of these that they got here too. Like, you know, those pigs and those monkeys. But man, those space toys, even though they were like rabbits, that was amazing. Now lunchtime is done and other than the rabbits, they also got the cats. Actually, I just had a look at these, and yeah, they do have the, the bear rabbits and bears. Yeah, so there's three different astronaut animals right here, and there's a sign that says, we come in peace. And they have the earth balls as well. The next things over there are the dinosaurs. See here, you see, I mean, the hearts and koalas and oh, the wolves. Oh yeah, I see wolves too. I see some pumas, pandas, lions, and even some bears, grizzly bears. And even better than what I planned. So which one, the cat? Uh, no, I don't need that. Like just those two are good enough. There's even some more 
here but i think those are just for you to put on your fingers and that dinosaur over there i'll have a look at that now they're tying in some snakes well even better than what i have planned so if i use these two characters on friday for my plush pulls episode then the total characters will go up to 12. now i just got downstairs and even on this floor we got some earth balls right here which ones the ah the light bulbs i don't even know but they got oh yeah the shortcut wow they even have some more toys oh they got sharks and some more wolves and some more of those dinosaurs there but okay let's try and see how this shortcut is going to be let's see if this is going to even work this is oh it did work and way ahead over there they do have the periodic table up in that ceiling even they have a bunch of dinosaurs so they finally do have this like majority of these are paintings i guess but you even got one of them here of the periodic table and yeah there we go so you can see where for example potassium is sodium is iron and zinc and all of these and you can tell that's 18 columns well 18 groups you can say there's some extra at the bottom right there and you can see the number on the right that's the relative atomic mass which is 65.38 for zinc and the plants that take us to the exit i mean when you regularly look at the periodic table like it just doesn't give as much detail as that board that you saw and look they even have the winter fint <laughs> What do you even they call these gnomes? But yeah, they look like Santa Claus. All right, just got the toys and we're heading out of Ikea. So now that is two plushies added to my plush book collection. And because I do have a panda bear already, this is now gonna be my second panda plushable toy. Like I would really like to get a grizzly plush as well. They have plenty of those, but they are so freaking big. But in this size, it would be a great idea for a grizzly plush. Starbucks and check this out. We got holiday cards. They got the cheers, my dear, and the holiday MVP. How nice. These are all for the holiday season. Wow, look at this. They even have the card sticker set. And if you just flip this around, so you can see this one has a snowman sticker, this one has a sweater and that cookie. And yeah, like as you just flip along and uh, you can see a variety of stickers through here and a variety of these cards and it says let it snow and on this one okay on this side there's just four different varieties it's post sunset and got really windy now but you know what i'm enjoying it i'm just living the life right now so we got the toys and i got really far with my studies already so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna sit and relax and i'm gonna watch the lakers game it's just glorious sometimes you just gotta love it all right so it just started and we do have two absences so hope this goes good for us the lakers just want to get this attempt oh my goodness man it just hit right at the edge of the hoop all right there goes lebron trying to get out of defense shoot it okay and we're still down 17 9 and we certainly have a lot of work to do i got two free throws he missed the first and geez he missed two out of two what on the planet now our ball let's just make it through this defense don't do a turnover 
There's 19 seconds in the first period left. All right. Oh my goodness. Like we could only score one three-pointer in this game. Well, so far, well, we have a huge mountain to climb. So, yeah, I knew that wasn't going to go in. Like, we have a huge mountain to climb. LeBron gets two free throws. Now, all right, scores one. Now he goes to that again. And there, I mean, like, we still have a lot of work to do. All right, then, guys, it just made it to in and out And look at this sign up there. It says, please be quiet after 10 p.m. Well, right now it's 7.31 p.m. And as far as I know, this place is open until like 1 a.m. or so. And, oh, yeah, 1 a.m. between Sunday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday until 1.30 a.m. So at least they have extra working hours on the nights that is before a weekend day. How special. Anyway, so I watched a Lakers game and unfortunately we lost by 34 points. It was just so easy to tell with one or two of our absences, particularly Davis. Like it was so clear that without him, it's like we didn't even know how to play basketball. And so the Rockets have beat us by 34. Honestly, congrats to the Rockets. They played really well. They had the full team. And as the Lakers, we're going to get up and we're gonna learn from this like we're just gonna need to climb a huge mountain all right finally got my order and i was order number 23 and this time they just can even speak through the speakers i didn't know why like they should announce through the speakers as well when you're outside like there's such a feature they did it though i mean it's just kind of silly that they didn't like i have been waiting out there for three minutes and i came in and i realized oh it's ready. So why can't they just announce the 26, speakers? please, 26. All right, yeah, you just heard that, right? Anyway, so now it's just time to enjoy some cheese fries. Oh, <laughs> man. It's like that freaking grumpy cat emoji, the way I just had that. But yeah, cheese fries. Smoke it. All right, here's a funny thing about what I just did that. Here's a brief story. So just after I ended the clip you know it looked like i was smoking that cheesy fry just doing a 420 sign smoke weed every day but yeah like when i did that sign there was a lady sitting in a white tesla and she'd been she'd been sitting in her car for like 15 minutes especially from the time that i had got outside before waiting for my order to arrive and like just after i ended that clip like she got out and honestly, I was kind of scared. I was kind of nervous thinking that like it was going to be one of those savage Karen moments. If you don't know what a Karen is, like, you know, it's like a phrase that is being given to angry, freaky ladies trying to start an argument over something completely unnecessary. Like they can get into a fight at a store or they can even get into a fight in the street. Like there can be a Karen that says, why did you park your car diagonally? And like, you know, it could really turn into a meltdown. So for a second or two, I was kind of nervous. Then she was walking in and then I'm like, smoke weed every day. <laughs> but then one of the staff members came up to me and he's like, be quiet. I mean, there does say a sign as such, be quiet after 10, but it's not even 10 yet. But yeah, I did get told off by one of the in and out workers. <laughs> Just doing the in and out gesture. <laughs> the smoke weed gesture. Anyway, guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'm really hoping that you liked it. See you guys tomorrow.